Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and this is part two of the large BrickLink haul that I ordered at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, anyway, if you uh, are looking at this video as opposed to going to part one, real quick story, um, I set the record on BrickStar's store. Um, didn't know it, but uh, evidently I did. I ordered 2,437 parts and um, and uh, set the piece record there. Um, and this is a uh, accounting, I guess, of the haul that I ordered. Um, ordered, uh, it took me two hours in the morning, or early morning hours from 1.30 to about 3. Um, and uh, anyway, this is it. So what else did I get? I, you can see this whole pile of things in part one. Um, let's go to part two. All right. I went through a thousand of these in Figsdale, um, and it's because I like to use these as cobblestones. And, um, you know, the, the, the gray tiles are nice for sidewalks, but I really like the cobblestones. So I know my stepson and I are going back and forth. He likes the tiles. He thinks that these, these look kind of silly. Um, I think they look cool as cobblestones, um, and I like that older European feel sometimes to, uh, to my, uh, my, um, my city. I needed some of these for my hospital. Again, I love tiles, finishing tiles. I wish I could cover everything in finishing tiles. Um, the story, for those of you that didn't hear it, my son is graduating um, from grad school at Clemson University and their colors are purple and orange. So I ordered a lot of purple, orange finishing tiles and bricks. We build a lot of, uh, of palm trees for the city of Figsdale and uh, these are great for palm tree tops and uh, just kind of um, decorative type of stuff for in the middle to kind of uh, um, suggest that uh, that there's uh, um, leaves and things like that. Well, some more of these. Uh, I got some of these almost in every color that was available um, that Bricks are had um, because whenever I'm doing a mock I always like to be able to have the option to connect them together and again what order wouldn't be complete unless you got googly eyes. So I'm not sure what M violet is, but uh, medium violet, those aren't. But uh, again, it's a repurposed bag, I'm sure. Um, way to recycle there, Bricks Art. Um, and uh, I got googly eyes. You never know when you're going to need the googly eyes. Some purple, some purple grates there and uh, um, some keyboard tiles. I don't know if you can see it, the light's kind of glaring. But uh, the keyboard tiles... I like to have because, you know, in every mock that you have with a computer and stuff, everything's a computer, and I just I just like it when there's a real keyboard. Even if, I'd rather have the keyboard than the screen. Um, that's, you know, even if I just have to have a black screen kind of going up vertically, I like to have the keyboard there to suggest a computer. Um, that would be a good question. Let me know what you think um, about that, if you like the keyboard or the screen better, if you only had to choose one. Um, these, again, finishing tiles, these are great. Um, we have a 50s section kind of going in Figsdale. I don't know, I'll zoom over there real fast. You see Smitty's Auto Repair, the mock that I did, and then the diner right there. That um, We're gonna do across from this green plate where the white is right now, we're going to do another mock, and that'll probably be in the mid-century 50s type style. Um, so these, these, this pink color will be, will be definitely used. Um, some more medium brown, again, finishing. I like these along walls and things like that. They kind of finish it off, almost like molding strips. Um, I use I use these a lot, like mold, like you would use a molding strip um, when you're uh, working with wood and, and walls and plaster and stuff. Okay, again, some more orange tiles, orange little little grates there, two by ones. Oh, these are excellent. Huh? Yeah, I got I got five of these. I only show you one though. Um, these are stairs, and they're in that nice dark red. I love that that rich color, that dark red. Um, I will use these probably some of these in my uh, factory mock. Um, so really excited about those. Got five of those. Let's see what else is in here, man. I'm. Geez, I hope we don't have to have a part three of this thing. Um, I got these. Um, I'm planning at some point to do some rock work and some burp work. So. I got those because evidently they must have been really cheap. These, not sure what for. These are good for tops of jars and stuff like that, jam and jelly and stuff like that, or police cars, obviously. Um, and this piece here, these pieces here, these these remind me of a piece back in the 
early 70s when I was a little kid in the kind of the late, late 60s, early 70s. Um, the, the one thing that Lego used to have, other than the bricks, they'd have the two by four bricks and two by twos and, you know, two by ones and all that kind of stuff. But they had a brick like this and it had these little clips on it. They were different clips. They were solid clips, but you could put a shutter right in here and then you'd have a shutter for your windows. Well, I used to use them all the time for like doors to my, to the kitchen that I, you know, in my builds or to the bedrooms in my builds. And I used them as doors, kind of like those fancy swinging shutter doors that actually were kind of, you know, cool and hip in the, in the 70s and the 60s in the, you know, the swinging 60s type of thing. Um, and in Western mocks, obviously. Um, but anyway, so that reminds me of those. But I got these because these with the double clip on them, you can put, you can put, uh, you know, rods and things like that through those and, and those are cool. These are great elements for all different kinds of things, for plants, for trees, for beaches, um, for uh, architectural type of stuff. Again, there's some more of those. Love them. Let's keep moving here. We got all kinds of stuff. Um, again, I got these in just about every color. I'm glad we have these because uh, I'm working on our beach in Figsdale. These will come in handy for, uh, for water and wave type stuff. These are great for tops of soda cans. These come in, oops, where are we at there? These come in very, very handy. Um, and uh, for, uh, you can, uh, you know, put the, a rod in there and then they can grip and stuff like that. They're great for uh, making things, especially from a sideways type of situation. This nougat, nougat in these these log looking type of uh, two by ones. Again, some more finishing molding tiles, like I like to call them. I'm sure that's not their official name. And then, again, I got a lot of these little satellite dishes in many different colors because when I'm doing mocks, like restaurant mocks and things like that, you know, there's always different colors um, depending on what you're doing. So um, these make excellent lights. Blue chairs. Some tan, or uh, some dark tan two by ones. I needed some of those. And then, of course, uh, some more orange tiles, finishing tiles, one by two. These will go well, um, keeping in the theme. Um, these will be nice to use. Uh, for uh, some architectural elements um, in my 50s builds. Some more studs on the side, or studs not on the top. Um, can never have too many of these when you're building modular stuff, um, so I, I ordered a bunch of those. I like to try to get these in as many colors as possible, just so I don't have the gray sticking out. And these are nice clear barrel. Um, one buys. Let's see here. Boy, I'm running up against time here. Um, yeah, as you can see, see I got white, I got gray, I got brown, and then um, these, I haven't seen these. These are purple um, studs on the side type of thing. Uh, one buys. Interesting. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, he had some of these, so I had to get a couple. Um, one of the problems I found with my Sig Fig is that uh, um, that I don't, I didn't get the most, uh, you know, the easiest uh, jacket to get. So when these are dark, the one I have in my Sig Fig is is, is light, but I have to go with what I got to go with, right? Um, I love this deep green color, so I got some one buys there. Those make good accents. Again, many different lights. So I can have all different kinds of, you know, we can have a disco going on, but this will be good for the 50s and 60s builds with the pink and the teal, things like that. Oh, somebody forgot to brush your teeth again. Look, yellow teeth, kind of that yellowish orange color, actually. And I apologize for the lighting. It's not very good in this. Um, we're still working on the studio, of course. Um, <laughs> these are great for connecting, and uh, I like to get these in as many pieces or as many colors as I can. Nougat. Can and these have these have the post on them, so you could uh, use these for you know 
for hinging type of things or spinning type of things, whatever you wanted to do. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Basic yellow bricks. And uh, some uh, gold chalices. These are great for table legs, for furniture legs, great for architectural elements. They can be used as horns. I'm going to have an amusement park in Figsdale, and as a matter of fact, these will be some great fences to use in that amusement park, same color. Um, I'm going to do something in the amusement park that I have never seen done before in a Lego amusement park, and I've, I've looked at a lot, so I don't think it's ever been done, or no one's ever done it, at least, in, and put it on film, um, but I'm going to do it, so stay tuned to a uh, Figsdale City update uh, in the future once I get the amusement park built, because I think it'll be kind of cool. All right, some studs not on top again, two by one. These are great. We'll use some on the beach um, for the uh, for the lifeguard stands and things like that. It's good for burp work. <laughs> burp work. What do you do? I'm a burp worker. Um, and uh, these in this uh, this dark tan are a great color. Bag of orange. Bag of blue, or bag of blue one buys. Um, we're getting to the end. We're getting to the end. Can I make it? I got some more fence for the amusement park. This is a different color, black, obviously. Some more orange. And these, I love these because I don't, I don't really like stacking up five of the one buys and then they kind of wobble and you know they're like Ugh, and and you got to work on them so these are really cool and there's a whole bunch of these in here um, that i got so uh pretty excited about those excited about these two um the cash registers i got a lot of ca cash registers there and let's see here oh hey i didn't i did not realize i ordered this wow you know, when, when you do a BrickLink order, opening it up is like your birthday, isn't it? It's kind of like, sometimes, it's like, especially if you have a big order, you don't realize all the stuff you ordered, and then by the time you, you get it, it's just like, wow, I can't believe this. So I did not realize that I ordered a 32 by 32 gray base plate. So that's great. I uh, can put it over by Smitty's. I, right now, I kind of have the, the green over there. Um, I will use the gray. Um, in the 32 by 32 and that way when we build the road we can use that well that's awesome that's awesome okay here's some more finishing um, these tiles these little molding tiles that, that I use and then these are great I mean these are awesome here um, these little clips you can use these for a whole variety of things um, I think is that it Whoa. Oh. oh yeah oh by the way thanks for a uh, Putting the base plate on cardboard there, bricks are. I appreciate it. That uh, keeps it from, from warping and stuff like that or getting broke. Um, see what we got. Wow. There it is. All right. Well, there's the order. And um, I appreciate it. If you have watched both of these videos, um, first of all, you need to think of something better to do with your time. And second of all, I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button down below if you like what you see if you like the channel and stuff like that. And um, we hope to keep giving you more and more videos. Um, and uh, um, we will talk to you later. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.